Hey guys, this is Siddharth and you are watching College Companion where we talk about lesser known colleges, courses and career options and today we are going to talk about Cognitive Science I am in Delhi, I have a MSc course in IIT I have been pursuing that so today we will talk about the first semester what are the courses there and what are the expectations so here we go Hey guys, this is so IIT is a credit system so in case of MSc Cognitive Science total you have 75 credits at the end of 2 years to get the degree so these 75 credits across 4 semesters divided so you will have some course components some project components and so on and in first semester there are only course components and there are 3 types of courses one is core courses which you have to do and then प्रोग्राम इलेक्टिव्स होते हैं, which is like a bunch of courses, तो उसमें सबको कुछ कोर्सेस सिलेक्ट करने होते हैं, and lastly there are open electives, जो कि आप most most in most cases आप कोई भी कोर्स आईडी डेली का ले सकते हैं, कुछ सर्टेन कंडीशंस होती हैं उसकी, तो उसके बारे में अगर आपको डिटेल्स चाहिए, तो you can go through the whole courses catalog आईडी डेली का, which I'll add it in the description of this video. So, let's talk about the first semester at IIT Delhi of Cognitive Science. So, there are only core courses. So, this is all for you. There are no extra electives. But you can get out of your way and take an elective if you really want to. But the prescribed guideline is there are only core courses. So, mostly there are six core courses. We will talk about one and one. So, first of all, uh, you know, her course is one on one, hota hai. there is like intro to and the course name. So, here is intro to cognitive science ka ek course. Hai. And in we have discussions ki hai about how it, ka cognitive science came to be, what is the fields of cognitive science mein intersection and contribution. Raha hai. So, here faculty ne across domains ja kar discussion ki hai. for example, Alan Turing. Ki baat ki hai, ho, who brought about discussions on artificial intelligence in 1940s उसके बाद George Miller who is again a well known psychologist Chomsky the field of linguistics is quite quite you know defined by his name so इस तरीके से अलग अलग facets जो कि cognitive science area को touch करते हैं उनकी बात की गई है and then अगर हम बात करें course expectations की तो इसमें faculty ने हमें memos लिखने के लिए कहा था so memos are like your understanding of the course content so in this we had around 5-6 write-ups on different aspects of the course so for example one write-up was on Alan Turing so I think I even posted that on Medium so you can check that out I'll put the link in the description after that one was on reinforcement learning one was on the different disciplines that contribute to cognitive science so in this we could go to any way and give our understanding uh, the disciplines come together so you can take uh, academic papers as a criteria ki wo kis se cognitive science field ko uh, discuss kar rahe hai. and then there were a couple more which were around how you would introduce cognitive science to other people there was a memo around it so all in all it's, it was a blend of historical insights from these different fields so next subject tha par cognitive neuroscience jahan par hum baat karte hai, uh, brain ke functions ki the physical properties of the brain and how they relate to cognition uh, broad main areas so agar aapko thoda bahut neuroscience ka idea ho so uh, uh, you learn more about these terms and how neurons communicate with each other and the interesting part was a brief discussion on the techniques that we use to understand uh, the functionings of the brain so yahan par fmri ki thodi bahut baat hui thi eeg ki baat hui thi uh, जो जिसके बारे में जानने का मौका इंडिविजुअली मुझे और मिला था इन विंटर्स वन आई वेंट टू अलाहाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी सो या आई थिंक आई थिंक दैट वाज अ गुड पार्ट ऑफ दिस कोर्स एंड एंड इसमें हमको एक असाइनमेंट भी मिला था वेयर वी हैड टू समराइज अ रिसर्च पेपर जो पिछले फाइव टेन इयर्स में आया है सो दैट वॉज ऑल्सो इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सरसाइज सो नेक्स्ट कोर्स वॉज बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग एंड दिस दिस वॉज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कोर्स बिकॉज काफी फील्ड से स्टूडेंट्स आ रहे थे। We have a good cohort of psychology students, some were from stats, physics, and even computer science background, some were from mechanical and electrical. So you can see that there is a 
uh, a very diverse bunch that we had in our batch. So it was good to have a programming course to be sabko itna exposure nahi milta hai at a school level or at a bachelor's level. So isme isme there was basic introduction of programming through Python, and we had couple of assignments. You know, basic uh, how to use loops, what is a class. Us application ko use karke there were assignments and. We also had a project. I think the project had a huge chunk, uh, almost 50% of the component of the course was through the project, and uh, I think that was a, a good part because then the 50% chunk provided the opportunity to people who already know programming to you know get good marks because uh, then that course became relevant to them as well because of this huge weightage. So you can check out my project. I sort of created a music recommendation system. It's still online, so its ka link would be in bio, in the description. Link would be in the description. Instagram, YouTube, mash mash. So next subject was language in the mind. So you can already see the theme, what is going on in the first semester. So you have you have seen neuroscience, you have seen programming, you have seen cognitive science. So we are sort of touching each aspect that usually gets associated to the field of cognitive science, and now we enter linguistics. And the subject name is language in the mind. So here we get introduced to basics of linguistics. Um, what is syntax? What is phonology? What is language formalism? Uh, so these were like a very broad level idea of uh, uh, what is linguistics in its all, uh, in its entirety on a higher level, and then its intersection with uh, cognition. And uh, we. Yeah, in this in this course also there was an assignment component where we had to give a PPT. So the professor had given us like five ten papers and then we could have chosen any one of them and gave a presentation on it. So we I and my friend did one on I languages and I'll add the link of the PPT in the description in case you find that interesting. Next uh, next uh, was research methods. So this subject was divided broadly into two parts. One is the qualitative aspect and the quantitative aspect. So in the qualitative aspect, it was more about uh, what are the ethical requirements that go when you conduct an experiment. Hypothesis, kaise banate hain? What is focus group discussion? So pura qualitative uh, experimentation when you do, do to kya kya cheez isme involved hoti? Content analysis kya hota hai? And then in sab kya on we had discussions. About our understanding of the term. This was broken into two parts. Second part was the quantitative aspect. So, usme we briefly touched on statistics, descriptive, inferential statistics, bit of R programming, and then there were these assignments based on R programming. And in qualitative as well, we had like two assignments where we had to come up with a hypothesis for a quantitative as well as a quantitative qualitative study. And uh, last but not the least, uh, these were the core courses as you can see. But uh, this was something that I took extra. So in uh, I really parlance, it's called an open elective. So we did not have a open elective in the semester, but you can take up to 25 credits if you want to. And in, everything besides this adds up to I think 19 odd credits. So I had a room, so I took this computational neuroscience, and in hindsight, it turned out to be a good decision because. Uh, isme we got a chance to create a behavioral experiment using PsychoPy and isme hume fMRI data bhi analysis karne ka mauka mila so you know overall uh, sort of more hands on experience with the field lastly i mean for the sake of completion there was this another course on independent study of bridge course so if people are coming from math background uh, they might need a bit of biology uh, to understand the field better, if they are coming from biology background, they might need some assistance with mathematics. So that was the purpose of this course, and uh, yeah, all in all, that was the first semester. And uh, I think, I think really, uh, it was easy to take this course in comparison, because in online semester, you save on a lot of time because uh, there is no traveling involved, uh, so you save a lot of time and energy. So time it's comparatively easier to take an extra course. But then in an on offline settings, I don't know if I would have taken this course. So yeah, that's all. I hope you had a good time watching this video and this is a comeback. <laughs> hope I can create uh, more such videos and uh, thanks for joining and see you in the next video.